back to the Weekend Sports Success Without You, Power Pan Brand vs Brand Challenge. In this section of the channel, we want to have a look at branded food, which brands are actually better for you, which can improve your health, which ones are better for weight gain, weight loss, and diabetes type 2, which is the better ones for your heart conditions. We're going to look at four sections. First one, calories, where we can see if we can control weight by going for a low calorie food, we're going to look at saturated fat, people with heart conditions will benefit from. We're going to look at carbohydrates, I found more carbohydrate food help rather than irritate diabetes type 2. And the final section we're going to look at is cost. Assuming that we buy a branded product three times a week, how much can we save to be over eating the same sort of food but by switching products over a 12 month period? So the first thing what we need to do is log on to the internet and type in nadiet.info in Google and that will take us to our web page, We Can't Spell Success Without You. Click on Downloads and then click on the Brand vs Brand Food Challenge icon. This will give us a list of all the foods that's available in categories such as canned food, ready made meals. So today we're going to take a look at Carrots. So today we're going to look at fruit and veg, and probably not the most exciting subject. Uh, one thing what we need to appreciate with fruit and veg is that historically it'll be full of nutrients, and these nutrients will be all your vitamins, it'll be vitamin C, B1, B2, and all your iron and things like that in there. Generally, food these days is force grown, so we can't look at those sort of statistics anymore. What we can do is look at food in, as such as calories, carbohydrates, saturated fat to see which are the healthier options. But we have to be aware is that when we're actually purchasing fruits and vegetables is the source and if you can but it's the most expensive but you will get more nutrients in it is by shopping organically. And if you shop organically this means that you'll get away by eating five a day. Failing that, probably because of how much it actually costs. If we look at the traditional markets, where a lot of people in the uh, 70s, 80s used to always buy the fruit and veg from markets, which is locally grown, it's not quite as good as organic, but it's far superior against supermarket type fruit and veg. So if you can buy from your local markets, your locally grown, products and by doing that you'll get away by eating six a day and finally you have your supermarket fruit and veg which has been forced grown it'll have a lot of chemicals in there it'll have very little nutrition value with your vitamins b1 b2 but it's cheap and a lot of people go for cheap these days if you're going for a supermarket vegetables then look at having seven a day so today we're going to look at carrots so if we click on carrots as we normally do and open the word spreadsheet enable editing and then once again we have our list so looking at carrots unlike other vegetables it doesn't really matter if you want to lose weight or gain weight there's only seven calorie difference between budget frozen that we have there and locally grown home market. Um, we have various other ones like you've got supermarket frozen, budget frozen, organic fresh in the middle, which kind of like breaks the myths of organic is better once again. But basically if you want to lose weight then you need the budget frozen, which is at 28 calories per 100 grams. Once again we're doing it by 100 grams rather than the entire pack. So there's a lot of carrots in the pack. And if we look at locally grown market, that's a few extra calories in there. It's not a great deal. So you're not going to really put on that much weight, but you know, it adds to the calorie count if you feel like you're struggling trying to keep any form of calorie count, uh, especially have eating disorders. So it's a few extra calories per 100 grams, locally grown fresh, or even supermarket fresh, or even organic. They're all uh, very, very similar. So likewise for people that are worried about heart issues, strokes, that sort of thing, we need to look at saturated fat. 
And looking at saturated fat, once again we're going back to budget frozen and supermarket frozen, which are the better options at 0 0.1 grams per 100 grams, which is excessively low. And then organic, supermarket fresh, locally grown market as 0.2. So in theory, if you eat a lot of carrots and you don't go for supermarket frozen, basically you're doubling the amount of saturated fat. But it's a tiny amount of saturated fat in carrots, so not a great deal to worry about. We'll look at diabetes and sugar type related issues. So if you look at supermarket frozen, budget frozen, they both have 4.4 uh, grams of carbohydrate, which is roughly just short of one teaspoon of sugar. So not a great deal in there. And if you're going for supermarket fresh and uh, organic, surprisingly, they will have six grams of carbohydrate. But it's 1.5 it's a fraction it's just a small tiny amount of sugar difference but you know i appreciate it's like if anybody's worried especially about diabetes type 2 uh go for budget frozen supermarket frozen which seems to win every level unlike other products that we've seen where some some actual frozen products can be really bad for people with heart issues and especially pe uh, especially bad with people with diabetes type 2 issues Right, so we'll have a look at the price and we'll compare the lowest price to the highest price based on eating these three times a week. Right, so I filled in the spreadsheet now and we've got carrots, which is the supermarket frozen, which is at a pound, compared against supermarket fresh, which comes in at 35 pence. And if we have three per week, then surprisingly enough, and unlike other products, is actually going from frozen to fresh, even though you'd expect it to be far better eating fresh, we find that one, we're going to eat less food. Uh, the frozen one comes in at 900 gram packs, where we're only getting a 35 gram pack. Uh, if it's fresh, you will gain weight. So once again, stick to the frozen rather than going to fresh. Is this switch good for diabetes? No. Is this switch good for the heart? No, surprisingly enough. What you'll do per item or per three portions of carrots, or 300 grams per carrots that you eat, you're going to increase your sugar levels by 17 spoons of sugar. And you're going to, which will work out over a year at 49.92 teaspoons of sugar extra that you're consuming. And that's going to still save you money it's going to save you 101 pounds 40 but you're predicted to gain two pounds in weight over a 12 month period having these three times a week and that's eating fresh rather than frozen with carrots which is probably a little bit of a surprise so there you go have a think about that next time you're in the supermarket if you have enjoyed this video then please provide your support by liking this video and subscribing to this YouTube channel. If you are watching on Facebook then please like and share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thank you for viewing.